What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Not So Pro Football Talk and our series of Grading Teams 2023 season. Today, from the title of this video, we are covering the Cincinnati Bengals. And remember, if you do like these series, hit that thumbs up and comment down what team you want us to cover next. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. The Cincinnati Bengals are now known for starting the season off slow. But as of recent years, they have faced a different challenge and one they need to overcome in order to have a successful season. Bottom line is that their success rests on prioritizing players' health, overcoming historical challenges, and making impactful decisions in the upcoming free agency. The Bengals are in need of filling multiple roster gaps this offseason and a potential Super Bowl run is at stake. So with the tight end position being a big priority for them, I feel like the perfect move for the Bengals is to cash in on free agent Gerald Everett. Of course, you can look at other tight ends that are available like Dalton Schultz and Noah Fant, but in my personal and not-so-pro opinion, Everett has been a great target for Justin Herbert and has proven to take some of the attention off of their wide receivers, which would be ideal for the Cincinnati Bengals team with such a stacked wide receiver room. And that is with the free agency issues that they are about to have. Some notable players who are set to become free agents in 2024 include Tyler Boyd, T. Higgins, Trenton Irwin, and Chidobi Owuzie. Higgins actually became the first player to become franchise tag this offseason. The Bengals now have until mid-July to get a long-term deal done. Otherwise, Higgins will be set to play on a one-year tender. Not to add that the, this news has split up a lot of Bengals fans on social media, making it very entertaining for us. But what do you think they should do with T. Higgins? Should they give him a long-term contract or try to get a high draft pick for him? Uh, which leads us to another debate for this offseason, which is to keep or not to keep Mr. Joe Mixon. It comes down to balancing financial considerations, player performances, and team dynamics since he's been with the team for so long. With the upcoming key date of March 17th right around the corner as a pivotal moment in this decision-making process, that is actually when Joe Mixon makes three mil just by being on the roster. So that's his roster bonus making three mil by March 17th. And what's even more interesting is that free agency starts March 13th. So this could influence the Bengals to proceed uh, one direction or another, but nonetheless make this very interesting. Personally, in my not so pro opinion, you see what I did there. I feel that it is the Bengals best interest to part ways with Joe Mixon. Not only does he impact the cap, but he, in recent seasons, he has been a distraction for the team as well. I personally like Mixon as a player, but I think his time with the Bengals has come to an end. Finishing last in their division, it is crucial to focus on keeping Joe Burrow healthy. I said it in last year, I said it in years past, and I will say it again this year, the Bengals need Need, need, need to make a big splash on improving their own line, whether it be the 18th pick in the drafts or in free agency. I've graded the Bengals a C for the 2023 season. And I think my colleagues have very similar ratings for them. Um, but in my you know, opinion, these guys are in rock bottom. So that only means one thing that there's only room for improvement. I do feel like the Bengals will bounce back next season and find themselves in the playoff picture once again. If you want to get even more bold, I do have them finishing second in their division. You address that O-line, you keep that offense stacked with those wide receivers, and then you add in someone like Gerald Everett. If Joe Mixon, I mean, if Joe Burrow's healthy, this is an outstanding team to go far in the playoffs, even make another Super Bowl run. But until all that gets addressed, until this offseason is over, time can only tell. So hopefully uh, they don't go through this horrific O-line that they did in these past two years. Uh, hopefully they get someone who's worthwhile and you know worth the paycheck to protect Joe Burrow. And I think we'll see a huge difference. 
those are my thoughts on the Bengals 2023 season and what I feel like they should do this offseason. Like I said, I did grade them at a C. Let me know what you grade them down in the comment section below. And remember, if you do like these series, hit that thumbs up and let us know what team you want us to cover next. And until next time, as always, keep on grinding.